All right, we're going to collect a sample for the rapid test soil test. Uh, they say not to touch the soil with your hands, so we're gonna try not to do that. Uh, I need one cup and then just a little bit more for the pH test. So I'm just gonna kind of scrape my mulch aside here. Get down to the soil. Okay, now I'm gonna go. Oop. I already have some lettuce here, so I need to be kind of careful. Okay. All right, now we're gonna about there. All right, that's about a cup. Dump that in there. Just a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to fill that back up. Like nothing ever left. All right. All right, now we have given our soil some time to dry out. We have our uh, test chamber here. We have uh, some purified water and a dropper We ha and a little spoon. Now what we're going to do for the pH test, I'm going to add, uh, let's see, just a little bit of this, fill that chamber up. Oh yeah, we, let's see. That's about right on the money. Okay, now we're going to use our dropper. Fill that up, and we're going to fill this chamber with water. Just right to the line. I'm supposed to use distilled water. I'm using water from my filter. There we go. Now I'm going to open up this little green pill and empty it out very carefully into the test chamber. And I'm gonna do this off camera because it's gonna be uh, kind of hard to do uh, even with two hands, much less one. All right, now I've added the, uh, the green pill and I'm gonna shake this up. Shake it up real good. And I'm going to just let that sit for a minute and let the, uh, shake up real good. All right, I'm gonna let that reaction just do its thing. All right, we've come out here because you're supposed to look at these outside because indoor lights can mess with the color and uh, you're also supposed to stay out of direct sunlight. So we're in the shade here and you look at that dark, darkish green, the olive green kind of color that's occurred and that's showing me a pH of about 6.5, which is slightly acidic, which is right in the range we wanna be in, somewhere between six and seven. So that's uh, that's pretty good. All right, and that's how you use the pH test. Now for the rest of the soil test, we need to mix in that one cup of soil with five cups of water, which we've done. And we've also moved our mixture here to a clear container, a clear glass container, which I should have probably started with. And this will uh, let us see what happens here because I have to shake this up for at least a minute and then let it settle. And this is probably gonna make a big mess, but that's okay, gardening is messy. Yeah, we're just gonna, this is probably the least messy way to agitate this. <laughs> and we're just gonna, we're gonna keep shaking. Now this is all shaken up, but we have to wait for it to settle, which could take anywhere from a few minutes up to 24 hours. So we'll just come back to this uh, whenever it's settled. All right, we let the uh, soil and water solution settle all night. And now we have three more tests to do. We have uh, one container for nitrogen, another for phosphorus, and another for potash. And each one is color coded. Uh, nitrogen is a purple container with a purple pill. Phosphorus is a blue container with a blue pill. And potash is an orange container with an orange pill. And what we're going to do in each of these three containers, these uh, what they call comparators, we have two chambers. We're going to fill, this is the test chamber, this is the control chamber. We're gonna fill both chambers with the soil and water solution. And this one will contain the contents of the pill, and this one will be left with just the solution. And the reason for this is in case there's anything in the water that changes the color, it will also help uh, change the uh, the color gradient here. So we're going to fill those up and put our pills in. Then we have to wait for 10 minutes and then we're going to see what happens. All right, for this one, I cut the end of this to expose the powder. That way the it only comes out of one side. Now we're going to very carefully 
drop it into the test chamber because we don't want it in the control chamber. All right, now you just want to shake, 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 shake it up, shake it up. Ho, ho, ho. All right, it's been 10 minutes. We're going to take a look at our samples and see how we are. So this one, let's see. I would say that's either depleted or deficient. Either way, we need more nitrogen. All right, and then we're going to look at our phosphorus. Phosphorus is also low. It's either depleted or deficient. I would say it's more on the side of deficient but it needs more. I want that to be blue. All right. Potash looks better. I would say it's either adequate or sufficient. So we have a nice orange color there. So I need to add some amendments to my soil. If you take the blue pill, you'll go back to life as you knew it before. Take the orange pill, and you'll see how deep the rabbit hole goes. And uh, the purple pill, you're going to see pink elephants and machine elves.